Hi guys, so today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the Terabase platform from beginning to end. I'm not going to go into all of the details on all of the tools and each project step, but we'll go into those in later tutorials. So when you log into the platform, it's going to go and zoom into the country of your location. And on this page, you have a couple different options for viewing. You can use these base map layers tools over here. Um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to use satellite. You also have the ability to turn on a bunch of super useful layers to help you pick your site location. Um, I will go more in depth in a later tutorial, but for now, I'm just going to use the bare globe to pick a basic location that looks okay. So you're just going to use your mouse and drag around here. I'm going to zoom in, say around here. And then you're just going to click and this little box is going to come up down below and you're going to click the blue arrow to head on to the next step. And on this page, you're basically just going to have access um, to your site location information. So it's going to list the site name, um, its latitude and longitude, and then you're going to have the ability to change your weather station. I'm going to leave the weather station as it is. I'm going to leave the project name as it is and the simulation name. Both of these are automatically assigned, but you do have the ability to go in and change it. And then you're basically just going to click the add simulation button and it will automatically save, so you don't have to worry about that. Here, you're going to design your project layout, and you have a couple different tooling options up at the top. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use the rectangle tool, and I'm going to create a boundary line like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add a substation. Let's put that in in this corner right here. And just for the sake of it, let's add an exclusion zone. And I'm going to again use this uh, rectangle tool. So let's put that up right here. Cool. So now that we have all of these, if I wanted to go in and edit or delete any of them, I do have that option right here. Uh, for now, I'm just going to keep everything at is and move on. So you're just going to go ahead and click next. In this step, you're going to pick your module and your mounting system. So I'm going to go with just a mono perk and let's say a single axis tracker. And then conveniently, it automatically assigns us an inverter. And so for this setting, it's given us a 2.5 megawatt inverter and 28 modules per string. So then I'm just going to go ahead and click next. So this is your scenario analysis page, and here is where you're going to add your GCR values and your DCAC ratio values. So it automatically assigns one set for you just to run a scenario, uh, and it populates that in the table down here. So it's given us a 0.3 for GCR and a 1.2 for DCAC. So you have this option to add um, D GCR and DCAC ratio values, uh, you can pre-select from this table that's pre-populated for you, or you can go in here and manually pick some GCR and DCAC ratio values. So I'm going to add a 0.4 GCR and then a 1.2 DCAC and just click the blue plus sign and it automatically populates the table for me. So for this, I think that's enough. I'm just going to submit those two scenarios. And it's going to start to process uh, my site and give me some results. So it's going to go back to what looks like the first page, but it's essentially going to list all of my project details and allow me the chance to change my weather station if I'm going to go back and add another simulation with a different weather set of weather data set. Uh, it also lists all of my inputs from these steps over here, and it also lists all of my layout details. So it tells me um, my racks, and then it tells me what I selected in my product selection area, and it populates this table based on what GCR and DCAC ratio values I picked earlier. And once this is done processing and once this site layout has been completely generated, I have the ability to download this information and a lot of other super useful information based on your project layout into an Excel file that I can open up and save to my desktop. 
And if you want to go back and add another simulation in this same pro uh, site location, you have the ability to do that by just clicking add simulation and you'll get back to where we started. So I hope this helps and we'll see you next time. Thank you.